What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Uh, even though we didn't find Pharaoh, apparently... Oh, there he is, yeah. Apparently I was just supposed to fly around until I bumped into him, so... Here we go. Went straight to the crag, never even bothered looking for him. Pharaoh! He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Wonder what hurt him. Pharaoh! Hey, he's landing! I it looks like he's calling us. Let's go. Like, Pharaoh is a baller. What could have hurt him? Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world oh, is set. that makes sense. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaud is lost. The Adephagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? Turn you into a spirit. There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. You're gonna be reincarnated, bro. <sighs> your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. Oh, that was easy. Forgot he was uh, he was the decoy. <laughs> really got to change Estelle out of that outfit still. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. He's a what? spicy boy. Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! The spirit of fire. I feel unlimited power. Oh no, this does sound good, <laughs> but the music's positive. Fear not. We are bound 
to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. Oh, probably should have done him earlier. I would have known about that. The Intellikea and the child of the full moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems <laughs> like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. Alright, well, I got the four spirits, though I still don't know where to go. For a cutscene here, game. We managed to get the four elemental spirits! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Autophagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumarains. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, then we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. I mean, yeah, his heart's a Blastia too. too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Noor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmied Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Are we finally going to get Patty's backstory? Capua Nor. Oh. Is Bile doing all right? You sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine, but he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apathia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. 
but he knows that someday he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it, though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. And that part of it is actually not too different from us. The other and Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own, though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelikea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me. And I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. Look at this nerd, afraid to become a spirit. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. We shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. I mean, we also wouldn't really get very far without him. Journey's over, Bowel. I want you to know you can count on him. All right, so over to, let's say, Cap Lenar. Uh, that's the, okay, that's the one that's on. Oh, it's over um, this way. It's at Cap Lenar and then Mead Hill. Of course. City, here's the port. This has become quite a place, hasn't it? Has everyone evacuated crossing the blade drifts? I think they escaped to Tolbekia around Torum. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. Go to the shop real fast while I'm here. Get a... Uh... Get more materials. Constant lack of orange gel. Lemon gel. Pineapple gel. How's everything else looking? Anything low? Oh, we're good there. Yeah. Stuff. Seem that way. Getting Pharaoh was a lot easier than I thought. Traveling under us. See, there's no Autofagos Looks discount. Like the Teagles got away too. Even with the road through Emmy Hill open, I'm still worried. 
I love port towns. They always have stuff. Even in times like this. Looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos? I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know, but he seems totally obsessed. <sighs> Patty, what is it? Huh? I'm famished. Want me to make you something? I do appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I'd blow up like a puffer fish if I ate now. Sleeping is the best way to distract oneself from an empty tummy, so good night. That's that's not true at all. You shouldn't Just sleep on an empty sleep tummy. To but I doubt Patty's growing up anytime soon. Rita's gonna need a bit more time too. Actually, hang on, I'm gonna do a little googling here. When do we learn Patty's backstory? Asperia. Um, apparently it's in some dungeon called Necropolis. We should catch some shut eye while we can. Yes, good idea. Looks like we're starting to get some of the the backstory. See her getting up and stuff, looking weird Yuri, on the ship. Please wake up. I'm up. I'm up. Was that Patty just now? I'm worried about her running off by herself in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it kind of seemed like there was something weighing on her. Maybe she was thinking about Ifrid. Judith, I didn't realize you were awake. Now that you bring it up, she hasn't said a peep about Ifrid lately. Rita, you're up too? And so is this old man. I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. It's too dangerous to go wandering around alone. It's still pretty risky, just the two of you, Judith, darling. Allow me. I'll escort you. I'm going too. Well, I guess if everyone's going... What's the matter? Hey, sleepyhead, we're going out for a bit. You sit tight and hold the fort. Huh? Where are you going? Don't just leave me here! I guess even the twerp wants to tag along. Alright, then we'll all go and take a quick peek. Alright, and I keep meaning to do this. Let's go, uh, let's see. What about... What's the waitress one look like? No. Oh. Go back to Regal Heart. I like that one a lot. Alright, this is the dead end, so she didn't go this way. Here we go, this is where she went. Patty. Patty, Patty, Patty. This is, uh... She's probably not here. Those guards would be all uppity if she was. That's a dead end. What the hell? Where did you run off to, Patty? Was it down this road? No, oh, that's blocked. Did she leave? Yeah, something tells me she didn't go that way either, but, like, what the hell? Uh, can I go down the alley, maybe? And there's nothing to... there's nothing over here, except for the Dice Master's house, so we know she's not here. The game told us she didn't leave. Going back this way is just a dead end.
Alright, I guess it has to be by the, uh, the magistrate house, because there's the dead end with the cat. Nowhere else she could have gone. Just let her past? Guess so. That's not normal. That's... Come on. Summon a ghost Hi, ship. Please wait. What are you all doing here? We could ask you the same question. Why the solo trip out here, hmm? We've gathered the spirits and are about to embark on a life or death mission. I just wanted to settle my own affairs before that. Are you talking about Eifried? This is my problem and mine alone. No one else should have to bear the burden. You say that, but there's really no reason you should go alone. <sighs> hey, that's the Atherum. What is it doing here? Did you call it here, Patty? I thought I saw you holding up the Maristella. So the Maristella is a device that summons that ship. It's reaching out for its other half. Meaning its other half is on that ship? But the Maristella is... Huh? Does this have anything to do with that problem you mentioned? I... Then let's go. Huh? What are you waiting for? You're going to come with me? You know there's no way we'd let you go by yourself. My thanks, but I will be the one to settle what needs settling. You got it. The boat's over there. Time to embark. <laughs> Repeat's already ready to go. Hey, does that mean that Eifried is on that ship? Who knows? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. All right, well, before we head on over into Spooky Pirate Ship Round 2, I think let's wrap this one up. Um, I like how I, as soon as I'm like, all right, when does this shit start, and I Google Patty end story, it's like the same episode. The You know, we're finally getting some lore about her. It only took 91 episodes to get here, but at least it's finally happening. So anyway, closing things out here for now, but of course we'll be finding more out about Patty in the next part, so stay tuned, and I'll see you all then.